School projects. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. The only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK, why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <coughs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <coughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madame Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! Yes, yes! Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, uh, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> Today is Captain Dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Captain Dog! <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. 
Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? Oof, that's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. <laughs> it's just a day trip, dear. This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat on the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! <laughs> Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? Canal boats do not have sails. You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck is going faster than our boats. Want a race, do you, Mrs Duck? <laughs> Full steam ahead! <laughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Oh. Anyway, you want to slow down. We're coming to a mountain. Ah! Look out! There's a mountain in front. We're going to crash straight into it. No, we're going into the tunnel. There is a tunnel through the mountain. It's all gone dark. And our voices sound funny. <laughs> we sailed straight through the middle of a mountain. Ha <laughs> ha! This canal boat is actually quite fun. <laughs> Look, here comes another mountain. And that means another tunnel. Not this time. Oh, there's no tunnel. So what do we do? We're going uphill. There's no way in the world a boat can go uphill. There is, and it's called a lock. Watch, I'll show you. Mummy Dog is opening the gates to the lock. Take her in, Captain. Just wait there while I close these lock gates. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm letting in the water from the top. We're going up. The rising water is lifting the canal boat up. Now I open these gates. Take her out, Captain. Full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Where's the ground gone? We're in the sky. We're sailing over a bridge. Yes, this bridge means we can sail high above the valley below. Ha <laughs> ha! Sailing across the sky. What could be a better adventure? <laughs> <laughs> sailing across the sky in a boat so high, floating on the water, sailing across the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a fun time, Daddy? I should say so. I've sailed through mountains, over hills, and across the sky. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. Captain Dog loves canal boats. Everyone loves canal boats. Easter Bunny. Pepper and her friends have come to Rebecca Rabbit's house for an Easter egg hunt. Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes! Ready, steady, go! Wait! Stop! Stop! What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh! When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good! We'll wait. Uh, but the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking! 
I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter Bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No, but the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> yes, it's a Super Bunny. I think the Easter Bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter Bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait, what's that over there? It's the Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> that is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh! We thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> we are little bunnies and we... Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. Digger, digger. <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow. Here is Mr Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger Ride. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun. Yes, fun. <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap. Et voilà! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's 
go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy. Okay, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. Oh. Here comes George with a demolition digger. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! You naughty piggy. <laughs> Oh, building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Hooray! <laughs> We've got the dinosaur. Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep. Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges. You are fully qualified digger drivers. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, Digger, <laughs> Mr Bull, can we drive your Digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive Diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! <laughs> ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's Pond. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Today we are making a pond. We start by digging a big hole. Here is Mr Fox. Hello, Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you this morning? I don't need anything, thank you. Oh, where's Grandpa Pig? Does he want anything? I'm afraid Grandpa's busy digging a pond. Pond, you say? Why, I've got just the thing. It's a no <gasps> fishing. Lovely. Antique. One of a kind. I'll take it. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are hard at work, digging. Ooh. Pepper has found a little cup. Oh, that looks like a very old teacup. Ooh. George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa! How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure! How exciting! I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. 
Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr. Fox says it's an antique, very rare, one of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr. Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My Goodness, this bone is the best of a lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Why? There may be other rare objects buried in the ground. Granny, Granny, we're back. Hello, my little ones. Our treasures have to stay in the museum. And we can't dig here anymore until the expert digger comes. Where do you want me to dig, Mr. Rabbit? Just about here, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Mr. Bull is an expert at digging. Find anything, Mr. Bull? No, same as usual. Just a load of broken pottery and smashed stuff. Oh, well, thank you for all your hard work anyway. No problem. I'm sorry we didn't find anything else. Not to worry. The good thing is you finished digging our pond for us. It's beautiful, Grandpa. A lovely natural pond. And to finish it off, a gnome. Do you like it, Mr Rabbit? I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Oh, they're everywhere. This is an antique, one of a kind and very valuable. Then it belongs in the museum. So it does. Oh. Don't worry, you can see it at the museum any time you want. And you can get in half price, Granny, because you are old. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. Pepper and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Peppa. We're walking there instead. Walking? All the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragging some fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <sighs> but there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. 
Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well. Catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Hooray! Potatoes! Potatoes! Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Everyone loves fairy stories. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. There, finished. Peppa, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> Wow! Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star. That's fantastic, Peppa. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <coughs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No. I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Peppa. And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well... I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Peppa, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. 
Thank you, Mr. Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy. Mr. Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Peppa? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things, and I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grrr. It's very good, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <sniffs> it's not fair, Pepper. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. He drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Pepper, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Oh, oh, I've never been so proud. Daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the tree man's on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. Night-night, <gasps> Pepper and George. Night-night, my little piggies. Night-night. 
Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, but da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the trying journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Susie goes away. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Let's play in my room. I'll be the princess. And this is my plastic crown. I want to be the nurse. And I need to check if you are well. Say ah. Ah. <laughs> I've got a secret. What is the secret? My mummy has got a new job. And we're moving to a new house. Wow. Mummy, mummy. Susie is going to have a new bedroom in a new house. <laughs> yes, Mrs Sheep has just been telling me all about it. This new job is so much more interesting than the job I have now. And I'm going to learn a new language and do all sorts of exciting new things. <laughs> it sounds wonderful. I can't wait to play in Susie's new room. <laughs> oh, Peppa, Susie is moving to the other side of the world. You won't be able to play with her every day. But I'll see you every day at school, won't I, Susie? Yes, I'll still go to school, won't I, Mummy? You're going to a new school, Susie. Oh, will I ever see you again? Oh, I'm sure you'll see Susie again, Peppa. Yes. Oh, look at the time. We have to go. But, Mummy, we need to play some more. You can play some more tomorrow. Right now, we have to go and pack. Oh, bye-bye, Peppa. See you, Susie. Are you OK, Peppa? I'm sad. It's a bit of a shock, Susie moving away, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you make Susie a going away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Peppa. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. It is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Race you to the next hill! <laughs> <laughs> I will really miss you, Susie. <laughs> and I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> 
We are both a bit bossy. <laughs> I'm so happy about this new job in a new country. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. So you said. <laughs> are you ready to go, Susie? No, wait. I made you a going away card. Thank you, Peppa. And you can have this. It's my most favourite plastic crown because you are so special. And so you don't forget me and you must keep it forever. I will never forget you, Peppa. Don't go, Susie. Hello? Oh, I see. Right. They said I didn't get the new job. So you're not moving away? No. Are we staying here forever? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> I'm glad you're staying, Susie. Me too. Now you can give me my crown back. But you said I could keep the crown forever. I know. But you're not going away now. Oh, you can wear it when you come round. What about the card? You can keep the card. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are the best of friends. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello, we're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, bobbing, bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Aha, right you are. Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover. Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong? No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> The boat has two little bunk beds. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night.
night, Grandpa. <laughs> night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Did you have a nice time? Yes! We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> Pepper loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone loves sailing. <laughs> It is the start of another day at Peppa's playgroup. Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <laughs> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> And my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. <laughs> Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. So, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please? Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madam Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Ho, ho, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you. It's me. <gasps> Peppa, what a surprise. But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy. It's us. 
Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup today. Ah oh, Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today, we have a new pupil. Hello, I'm Molly Moore. <laughs> I'm sure you will make her feel very welcome. Hello, Molly. Pepper and Rebecca, will you look after Molly, please? Yes, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> Have you ever played in a sand pit? It's good for building sand castles and digging. Do you mean like this? Wow! You're good at digging! Yes, I'm a mole. Moles are good at digging. <laughs> Parents have come to pick up the children. Home time, Rebecca! <laughs> Molly! Here is Mrs Mole. Hello, Mummy. Can my new friend Peppa come back to our house to play? Of course she can. Hello, Daddy. <coughs> can I go and play with my new friend Molly Mole? <laughs> Why not? <coughs> I'll pick you up later. Peppa is going to Molly Mole's house. <laughs> this is my house. <coughs> but this is Rebecca's house. <coughs> Rebecca Rabbit lives inside the hill. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, Rebecca. Molly is my new neighbour. But where do you live, Molly? We've moved in underneath Rebecca's house. Squeak. Come and see. <laughs> Moles live deep underground. Our house is not finished yet. My daddy is still building it. Ah! Oh. Here is Mr Mole. He is very good at digging. How do you lock your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy. <laughs> this is my new friend, Peppa. Hello, Mr Mole. <coughs> Delighted to meet you. Daddy Pig has come to pick up Peppa. Hello? Hello? Hello, Daddy Pig. How can I help you? Do you know where Molly Mole's family live? Yes, they have moved in underneath us. Underneath you? Yes, it's quite exciting. <coughs> Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. Come inside. Oh, oh. <laughs> Please excuse the mess. We're building an extension. Oh, I'm a bit of an expert on extensions. Let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians, architects. Actually, Mr Mole and I are just building it ourselves. Oh. Hello, Mr Pig. Hello, Mr Mole. Uh, interesting place you've got here. Thanks. There's a little bit more digging to do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well, the good thing about digging a house is that you do what you want, where you want. You could put a door here. Or a door here. Or you could even put one here. Uh, hello, Mr Rabbit. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> oh, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in the floor? What a good idea. Would you like a cup of tea? Who are you talking to, Mr Mole? I was talking to Mr Rabbit. Hello, Mrs Mole. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How's the extension going? Almost there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> it's great having a hole between our houses because now you can come and play with me anytime you want. 
Yes, and you can come and play with me anytime you want. I like you living here, Molly. I like living here too. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my best friend? Squeak! Yes, please. <laughs> Molly Mole and Rebecca Rabbit are best friends. The Outback. Pepper has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr Kangaroo. Oh, Mr Pig, what a surprise. You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. Go, crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow! You have a plane! Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane. <laughs> I love the Outback. Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is. But the Outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> Wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Pepper. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Pepper. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <laughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. London! 
Pepper and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. Wow, it's so busy. There's so much to see, I just can't decide where to go first. My friend the Queen lives in London. Maybe she can help. This is the palace where the Queen lives. Hello? Please can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? It's Miss Rabbit. You said if I was ever in London, I should drop in to see you. Oh, Miss Rabbit. Come in, come in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Queen. Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. After all, London is my city. I'll give you a guided tour myself. Hooray! <laughs> the best way to see London is on a double-decker bus. Ooh. Mr Driver, please may we borrow your bus. Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your Queen. In that case, Your Majesty, take it. If the Queen asks you to do something, you must do it. Everyone up to the top deck. <laughs> the bus has stairs in it. The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I'm the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Fast stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. <laughs> of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. <coughs> On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> the bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Queen is good at driving buses. <laughs> are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open-top buses are the best. <coughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Next stop, Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. <laughs> 